Hey everyone, this is Uthrus, and welcome back to Medieval Engineers. So, last episode we've been laying out uh, this back area, kind of a lower end living quarters for maybe servants or storage rooms. It's basically just a whole bunch of miscellaneous rooms of that sort. It also has an access point up to this upper area, which I've been working on. Kind of has this open stall thing. I don't know what it would be used for besides maybe some light market uh, activity for you know the higher class or something like that. Also in this corner down here there will be kind of a market area so there there will be kind of this open kind of tented looking spot that uh, big trades could be done and obviously near the entrance so that uh, wagons can come up and they can just unload it straight through into the market area. Uh, let's see, what else, what else, what else? Uh, I've just been fiddling with things, trying to get rooms to uh, fit together and come up with interesting designs for structures. This episode we're pretty much going to be trying to finish up this whole upper area and get it done so uh, next episode we can just move on to say a um, a actual new project and area Hold on, I'm changing this up a little bit so that it can fit that corner piece just a little bit better I'm having you to go back in and edit things as we go to make it fit together a little bit more smooth Let's see, how do I get up there? This whole place is amazing now. It's uh, pretty ridiculous, the pathing you have to do here. I think this will take us back to the main hallway. And then to find the staircase up, which is somewhere around here. Is it over? No. I think it's this way. So you can see attackers are going to get confused fairly easily which I think is a great thing and will definitely help out uh, the defense by them plenty of time to readjust to where they need to be there we go something like that now kind of this interesting double staircase up into this uh, plateau. There's going to be another larger entrance on this side. I just haven't decided how to connect it all up. So until then, uh, this doorway is the only entryway into it. And this is definitely more for uh, foot traffic instead of sub massive supplies. And that's why we will have that other access ramp. Uh, this structure also has kind of an upper loft area. I might even put a third loft just for effect and then a nice little window to see down into another uh, lower section. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and hop out as soon as I find the door to continue working on what we got going on over here. So I'm having to kind of space out the higher points and everything. So obviously this spot is lower and so I need a higher point up here to allow for windows and then we'll probably have another lower point and then probably back here a higher point so there's gonna kinda ripple like a wave throughout the structure here to allow for spots for windows to pop up and uh, additional living so I think back here is where I would like a nice staircase my bar is completely it's a mess so you guys are just gonna have to pretty much put up with me going into this menu a lot right now um, I don't really feel like setting up a bar I want to try and keep it fluid and so this is kind of another living quarters living quarters a side room up to the upper floor which, of course, is going to be all wooden. Something like this. And we can very easily kind of wall this section off. 
or Nat, if it wants to fight me a little bit. There we go. Now, obviously, these walls don't matter a whole lot as we will have no windows on them. People will just be looking at a uh, rock wall, essentially. So those can be fairly quickly placed. And in fact, we can even throw together a quick room here. Actually, no, I don't, I want to, don't want to do it that way. Maybe we can just have the door completely in the middle here to continue the flow of the structure forward. And then do something like this for a window opportunity. And this will allow them to see down into the small area. And we can also put a window here. And they're not directly above these windows, which I think is nice. I never enjoy putting windows on top of each other, like I always say not to do. Maybe this will just be a connecting hallway. Or we can just walk it on down this direction. In fact, we can do that and keep the flow of those doors just all the way through the main structure of this home or miscellaneous area. Still don't know really what to call it. Spread out some new flooring. And then, let's see, there's going to be a roof here. I don't need a triangle piece for that section. And then what we're going to run into is the need for another staircase. Along this back wall, I think, is the best spot. And then we can just bring up even more walls to kind of top off this large upper section here. Mm, let's, let's put a window here because they're going to be viewing out, which is fine. And let's put a window not over that one, maybe a double window right there. Double rainbow. go there and we can just bring it back home at this point. I think that's taking it far enough. Let's see here. All right. That's the third floor. Let's just check structural integrity. I haven't done it in a little while. Obviously, everything's still green. We are working in the terrain and a lot of the structure itself. So that's going to be holding up the structure alone. You could go really high fantasy in this game if you put terrain inside wall sections, essentially leaving a lot of the weight. Now, I don't know that that'll be even possible in survival mode. I would have to guess not because there's no real terrain editing tool even in Space Engineers besides just digging out the area. However, Minecraft and games like that benefit a lot from being able to edit terrain. And so, I mean, even say life is futile, they can edit terrain minuscule amounts at a time so that, that people can make a flat area to build on and I think this game could could do something like that as long as it's like logical or it it takes a little bit to actually do so you know no one can uh, take advantage of placing terrain inside blocks or in survival mode terrain doesn't help structure integrity at all but I don't know how they would do that 
I really don't. There's a new roof section. I kind of wish we would get the overhang effect on these sections of walls, but that's just how the roofs generate when you have a block not in the same square, but on like the opposite side. So like these, these are actually in this section when if they would have been on this side, it would have generated this extra roofing, but it's just something you have to deal with uh, when you're making these type of structures. I need a piece of wood here. There we go. And this is, of course, the low section. And then we're going to go up into the upper section here. Let's just drag out some floor. This will make it a lot easier to put down walls. in dividing sections. So we need a door here. We just seal that off completely. And then we can even just split this room in half. Something like that. And then we can build up our roof pieces. Let's see. How do I want to do this? Usually you do long access. Not access, axis. So what I'm going to do is treat this as one like so. We can put just a little skylight window there. And then bring it all the way down to here. Put another window. And then I don't know how I want to do this. Maybe just a simple kind of T junction at this point. Gonna have to delete that. Put a wall. And then the same thing over in this area. All right. Now, I don't have to worry about the wooden uh, facade being a little wonky on this side, just due to the uh, fact that there's stone in the way and no real player is gonna be seeing that anyways. So it's not really a big deal. I just have to make sure everything pretty much lines up interior wise. So something like this and that. Let's see, is that going to look right? No. Now it will. Can't wait till there's more survival aspects thrown in uh, this week. I don't even know if I made a Medieval Engineers episode this week. I can't quite remember. But they added food and health systems, which is great in the long run. Also, the new inventory system, I think, is looking a lot better than having to just use the hand tool to pick everything up all the time. I would have found that quite annoying in the long run. I think we're gonna have a flat top section here and then the peaked section over there. We're gonna follow a little bit of a Lothlorea rule. The upper floor will be this red tile and then the lower floors will be just the wooden roof. Alright, so we can do that. Then we need to throw on wonderful flooring here and I could make that accessible but I don't think I want to we'll just leave it kind of an interesting shape and then also throw in these stone pillars just to make sure everything's sealed off 
you get a lot of light leaking through these type of areas. So there we go. That is that small section. Then what I want to do is something like that. I'm thinking. See, get the wooden roofs out. Place those there. Make sure the staircase is still accessible. It is, which is great. Don't mind the low roofing. Again, it is very maze-like on purpose. So, um, wish the door worked. There we go. And we're already like 16 minutes in. I'm going to go ahead and finish up this whole area off camera. We can come back. You guys can see what it all looks like. I might even throw in another round uh, coned top. Uh, because I think that will make the whole place stand out a little bit more. And yeah. After that the episode should be done. And then the next one we can just move on to the market square. Alright everyone. So this is pretty much what I came up with and it is definitely a mismatch of structures and height levels and things but I think it kind of gives off the vibe that we were going for I'm not gonna take you like inside uh, at least I don't plan to mm, no it's basically just a giant maze of corridors and hallways and empty rooms right now. Maybe once I start throwing in detail in terms of furniture and miscellaneous uh, storage rooms, bedrooms, dining rooms, it might become relevant to show off the inside. The more important thing is the outside look right now. And as you can see, we have kind of a extra tower uh, you can climb up and it gives a fairly decent view of the surrounding area. And then, um, yeah, just these little buildings kind of poking up into the mountainside. I need to sculpt the terrain kind of back into it so that it's nice and flush. And then um, it also will start to make a little bit more sense in terms of, like, you know, where the buildings are coming from. It's supposed to look very kind of organic and uh, natural that it's kind of just carved into these small cliff faces and it's just kind of poking out from them just enough to give the vibe of uh, livable space that they had to carve away now they wouldn't have the tools to carve away the whole mountain and so that's why it's it's still mostly there to begin with and then um, yeah, I think that's about all I can say about that. If, if once I get this really nice and, and hugging in and, and some multiple uh, textures showing through, I think everything is going to look really nice. Like this area here needs a lot of filling in to make sense. Because otherwise, you know, it's just like, well, it's a floating building. And I think that it's kind of enough rambling on in terms of hey mountainside all right so you guys can let me know what you think of the back area it's kind of the light lower class of residential that be, would be part of the citadel living quarters and then of course the middle tier we're going to get into kind of more of the higher class buildings and then maybe even some type of religious structure. I don't know if it's going to be a church. It could be some type of mm, mausoleum or uh, some type of just good looking shrine. It doesn't have to be a full cathedral. And I don't really want to build another cathedral. I have built three of them already. So it would look exactly the same as the other ones to my knowledge. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are enjoying the content, feel free to subscribe. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment down below. If you have any suggestions or any buildings that you want me to try and tackle. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.